Hi, let me give you a quick tour of Pulse version 6.4. So if you are a Planning Ethics V12 customer or if you are on V11 and you want to upgrade to V12, you will be pleased to know that now with one Pulse, you can monitor your Planetix version 11 server and your V12 with the same Pulse. So with the same Pulse, you will be able to monitor and migrate your object from V11 to V12. So let me show you how it looks with Pulse now. So in this overview page here, what you can see is that we have one Pulse that monitors many environments. The first one is IBM Cloud on V11. We have IBM Cloud on MCSP. We and we have a few other TM1 version 11 on-premise uh, server. So with one Pulse, you can uh, monitor now uh, different versions of TM1. So the next feature we have added is to be able to export the flow diagram into a CSV format. So the flow diagram in Pulse is one of the most popular features inside the documentation. So if you go to reports documentations, you will find the flow diagram. You can select your TM1 instance and then you can select one object. Like for example, here I'm going to select General Ledger. So by default, Pulse is going to create a PDF where you will find your, your object in here, the General Ledger cube and all the relationships with the other objects. What we have added and what was requested by few customers is to be able to export into a CSV. So it is going to create an Excel file with all the relationships. Like for example, we selected a general ledger cube. So in this relationship is a target and the source is a process. So it's a process that's using data to the general ledger cube. And this other example, you will find it as a source for a drill process. One of the key features of Pulse is that Pulse can send you email alerts when an issue occurs. For Pulse to send you email alerts, you need to set up these alerts in Pulse. What we have added now, if you go to under administration, you will find alert templates. So Pulse comes with lots of default alerts. And when you are inside your TM1 instance, what you can do now is that there is this new buttons and se select your notification group, select all the templates, and then you can select your tier one instance, for example, CXMD. And then you can click next, finish, and Pulse is going to create all the alerts for you. So what we have added now with 6.4 is you can execute the offline migration package. So let me give you a quick example where if we go to your migration packages here, in this example, I have an offline package. So in the offline package, what is new in version 6.4 is that you can now execute this package. So you can select your TM1 instance where you want to. In here, in all the changes, if you open, you will be able to see all the subsets, the views, the cube and the dimensions. They are all in this uh, package. So now all the steps that you will have to do manually, like copy the files into the target TM1 instance and restart the TM1 instance, you can then do them through Pulse. So through Pulse, what you can do, you can stop your TM1 instance, ask Pulse to copy the files into your target TM1 data, and then you can restart your TM1 instance. So you don't need to remote desktop to the server anymore. You can just do everything through the Pulse web client. All right, so these are just the new features that we have added. On top of this, we have added many enhancements and fixes into this release. So we highly recommend all our customers to upgrade. And if you're not a customer yet, check out our website at cause.cuboys.com slash pulse to learn more about how you can administrate and monitor your tier one applications better. See you in the next video.